To turn now to a setback, though, at the bargaining table in the United Auto Workers talks with General Motors, the union is telling its members things are moving backwards. It's now day 22 of the strike, and 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live with the very latest on the talks. Kim, fill us in. You know, I'm live across the street from the Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant, and if you talk to workers here, they'll tell you that in some cases they were scraping by before the strike. So they are definitely feeling the pain of going without their paychecks, getting just the $250 a week strike pay. But they say for them, this is not just about a regular contract negotiation. It is a fight for their future. This is the Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant. It is slated to close in January. The UAW and General Motors have been in talks about bringing new projects here to keep it open, but so far there's been no agreement. On top of saving this plant and four others, including the Warren transmission plant that was recently shuttered, here is what the UAW is asking for. Workers say they want a raise to keep their current health coverage and the end of a two-tiered system where so-called temporary workers can work for years at a much lower wage than those with more seniority. Uh, we'll go as long as we have to go. If it goes on for three months, four months, we'll be right here on the line. Are you are you prepared for a long strike if this keeps going on? I'm prepared. I'm prepared to do whatever it takes uh, with the UAW and General Motors. The question is, will General Motors deliver what workers want? John McElroy of AutoLine Daily says the automaker is determined to keep flexibility in its labor costs as it faces a changing market. GM's not going to bend on this at all. It needs temps. And, you know, right now GM's all-in labor cost is about $63 an hour. All its Japanese, Korean, and European competitors are paying about $50 an hour. So that's $13 an hour difference per worker. That's a huge gap. Now, with all of this happening, we're also in recent days learning about new allegations of corruption against leaders in the UAW. Some are asking, could that lead to this strike being dragged on even longer? We'll take a look at that and hear from the union ahead on 7 Action News at 5. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim. We'll see you at 5. Stay with 7 Action News for continuing coverage on the negotiations. We'll be following any new developments on air and at WXYZ.com.